Welcome to a special edition of Lift Every Voice. I'm your host, Corey Coke or Brother Conjury. As you can tell, it's nighttime. Well, we are celebrating the life and legacy of Albertina Walker. Today, we're going to bring you exclusive interviews by people in the industry that love her so much. Of course, she is the mother of gospel music. Today, you're going to see how she continued to press through during her trying moments and times. We're celebrating the life and legacy of Albertina Walker. This is Lift Every Voice. Same doors. Lift every voice. Lift up your voices. Uh, let it ring with wise words. Spoken. Uh, from the east to the west, give it your best. Uh, Lift every voice. Ascension achieved. Many have called Dr. Albertina Walker the mother of gospel and others have called her the queen. But there is no doubt that she has changed gospel forever. When she founded the legendary caravans, she brought the world such singers as Pastor Shirley Caesar, Inez Andrews, Dorothy Norwood, and Loletta Hathaway. Their anthems such as Lord Keep Me Day by Day. When she branched out on her own with such powerhouse songs as I Can Go to God in Prayer and When God Dips His Pen of Love in My Heart, Albertina Walker cemented her place in music. She's been a mentor, a mother, a matriarch. Albertina Walker will long be remembered for her fiercely strong alto, her strength in times of struggle, and the way she made everyone feel like they had a friend in her. Dr. Albertina Walker sleeps with angels now, and we know she's resting in shady green pastures now. Welcome to another edition of Lift Every Voice. I am your host, Corey Coco Brother Conjury, and with me today, Albertina Walker. Praise the Lord. Look at you. You look amazing. Well, I thank and praise God, but that is all to him. I owe. So he keeps me going. You know, I was with your girl a while back, Dorothy Norwood, and Dorothy just cut up. I know. <laughs> Dorothy's too much. Do you miss those days? Those were the greatest days of my life. How good has Jesus been oh, to Jesus. you? He's been better to me than I've been to myself. And you know, I love me. And he loves me more than I love myself. And I just thank and praise him for his keeping power. Thank him for taking care of me when I didn't take care of myself. So he's just been my everything. I can't make it without him. There was a moment that you didn't love yourself. Sure. Yeah, you can do all the more bad things. You ain't got no business to do it. I didn't love myself when I was doing, you know, those old bad things, smoking cigarettes, and uh, did a little drinking. You know, when you're growing, I grew in grace. I didn't just get saved overnight. You know, and I grew out of my ups and downs and turnarounds, and, and it just moved right on into the good life. And do you feel like during the time when you was drinking and smoking that he was still with you? Oh sure, I knew he was because I couldn't, I couldn't handle myself, and I knew that he was taking care of me. You know, some people will look at, especially hip hop artists or secular artists, right? Mm -hmm. And they'll look at them. They'll say they always want to thank the Lord. They always drink it. They always smoke it. But you were saved, and you was a Christian. Right. They got a right to. They know what they're doing. They know it's not pleasing in God's sight. You know, but they do it anyway. Is that same grace that was upon your life, upon their life? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's only one God, one faith, and one baptism. Was there ever a moment when you was on the road with the caravans that you did some things that you know you ain't had no business doing? Sure, how many times? And the Lord forgave me for every time. Wow. Every time I said, Lord, please forgive me. And he did. And he promised to forgive us, you know, for our sins. And and I took him at his word. I want to come right back. I want you to minister to a nation because you know what? That same secular person, that same hip hop head, that same person who's in the church, like how you was in the caravan, oh, yeah. doing stuff wrong, yeah. is watching and you right in church. Now. I was in the caravans and I've always been in church all my life. So you was in church and oh, you yeah. were still doing stuff. Sure. So mm -hmm. those people right now are watching you. There's two crowds. There's a religious crowd that will stone them. And then there's you who will sit back and love on them the way that Jesus loves on us. I want you all to sit still. We're going to come right back with her testimony. She's going to talk to you, probably sitting back saying, nah, his grace isn't sufficient for me. Not the blood can't take care of me. Yes, it can. We're coming right back with Albertina Walker right here on Lift Every Voice. I say uh, to the artists out there, 
um, that have come along in the last 20 or so years. We owe so much to Queen Albertina Walker and legends like her. She's a true legend of gospel music. My mother said I was born on the 29th. My birth certificate said I was born on the 28th. 